If you've been watching my channel, you know that I've really been struggling with solar panels as of late. For those of you new to the channel, let me give you a quick backstory. I have several really nice 24 volt setups. I have great inverters, I have great charge controllers, I have incredible batteries and a ton of batteries. But my solar panels are old and used and they're really starting to show their age and I'm having a lot of problems, especially now that it's winter and we have less solar energy. So today I have something that I'm hoping is going to solve that. These are eco-worthy 100 watt 18 volt solar panels and I'm going to use them to test to see if they are going to be my savior. So let me give you a real quick overview. They are mono panels. They are 100 watt 18 volt. Now remember I have a 24 volt system so I will be using these in series to power that. If you had a 12 volt system you could use them in parallel or just one at a time. So what I'm hoping is that these will solve my problem and if they do I'm going to buy a bunch of them and I'm going to replace all my old aging 250 watt solar panels with these so I'm really excited stay tuned let's see what they do and I am very hopeful here we go so before I begin I want to quickly talk about these solar panels these are bifacial solar panels so what that means is unlike traditional solar panels you can actually get solar energy off the back so solar energy comes in this way, and if you have something reflective or white or light colored, it'll actually bounce light off of the back, and you'll be able to get even more solar energy production out of these. So they're really cool. The second thing I want to mention is the efficiency of these panels. If you look at these panels in size compared to that panel, these are 200 watt panels, and yeah, that's a 250 watt panel, but look at how different the sizes are of these two. These are much more efficient. That means you can have more energy captured in a smaller spot. Well, hello, Chuck, mascot of Black Cat Cottage. Say hi to everybody. All right, so let me talk about my test now. I'm going to be testing these two channels, which are 200 watts, against that one, which is 250 watts. But that's an old, outdated one. So I'm going to see if these are more efficient than that. So my testing criteria is going to be two different things. I have a portable power station with an inexpensive MPPT controller and I'm going to test them in low light, in sun, morning, afternoon. And so then once I'm done testing it with the DIY power station with the inexpensive MPPT controller, I'm then going to switch to my larger, still 24 volt system, but it has a better MPPT charge controller in it. And then I'll do the same thing, test it in the morning, test it in the afternoon and see how, it, how these two compare. So we got a little bit of testing ahead of us. As soon as the sun clears up, we'll be able to really get into this. What do you think, Chuck? You ready to rock and roll? He says we're ready to go. Let's do this. Well, another rain delay. More rain today. Hopefully it clears up and we can do the test tomorrow. So the testing has wrapped up. I had a few days of rain and a lot of clouds, so not as much sun as I wanted to, but I'm not in control of the weather, so that's just the way it is. So I did film all of the testing but um, it's kind of boring and it would make the video 45 minutes longer and it wouldn't add anything to it. So I'm just gonna cut it out and just talk about the results. So I have a few surprises and then of course some things that didn't surprise me. First surprise for me was I had two setups. I had a inexpensive MPPT charge controller on my DIY power station and then I had a nicer MPPT charge controller on my regular setup. And both charge controllers perform well, so the inexpensive, kind of cheap one uh, did just as well as the more expensive ones. So that was a pleasant surprise for me. Another thing that was a little bit of a surprise is my old used solar panels performed better than I thought they would. What was not a surprise is the eco-worthy panels consistently performed better than my old used panels. So again, no surprise there. Every instance, the eco-worthy panels performed percentage-wise better than the old used ones consistently every every one of my numbers they're better whether it was low light and I did a lot of low light and a lot of cloud because you know a couple days of cloud uh, the eco worthy panels were vastly superior so no surprise there and what that means for me now is moving forward I can use these panels to start replacing my older used panels now you might ask why are you getting these smaller panels you know these are 200 watt panels basically why not get large 500 watt panels or so? Well, my answer to that is twofold. First, it's just a question of cost. Uh, these are really inexpensive panels and I can slowly replace my old used panels. Um, I can't afford to just outlay two or $3,000 to replace them with big 
you know, 500 watt uh, panels. Another thing is just the size of these panels. They are half the size of my old 250s, and you can use these anywhere. You know, if you had an RV, or you had a small setup, or small space, you know, you could set one of these up almost anywhere. So for me, that helps me out because I have a flat roof with a very limited amount of space. I have a lot of trees, so I have to have efficient use of my space. So these small panels will let me fill every hole, every gap, every little spot of sunlight with a panel and really maximize my area. So um, they're a win for me. I'm um, very excited about these panels. Uh, I was pretty much sure they were gonna meet my expectations. And of course they did that. They exceeded my expectations. They performed incredibly well. Um, that's it for me though. Um, if anyone out there has used these panels or has a different panel you wanna talk about, please leave a comment below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to talking to everyone soon.